special guest in the building. Yes, sir. Master P. P. What's going on? What's up, my brother? Oh, man, it's all good. I got the hookup part two. Got the hookup two. Y'all see that? I mean, <laughs> the soundtrack is about to be crazy. Lacey, King Roy. I mean, this this about to be an incredible soundtrack. Young Jeezy, just to name a few, go on and on and on. Because I feel like, you know, in this game now, nobody give the underdogs a chance. So go to, uh, I got the hookup to movie.com. And, uh, you know, the movie going to be out in June, June 28th. The two artists you have with you, what makes you stand next to them? You don't just stand next to anybody. Nah, so these bosses, so that, like I said, 2019, I don't want to deal with no artists, I want to deal with bosses. I met Lacey doing a uh, 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 casting for Get The Bag. It was like, I got music. When I checked it out, she doing her own thing. I was like, man, she dope, you know what I'm saying? So, I, I mean, here we is now. I mean, I'm going to let y'all check out her record. It's dope, and uh, King Roy, I mean, Dope, man. Real boss. You know, been on the streets, changed his life. My thing is helping people that did the same thing that I done. And uh, nobody done it from, you know, where, 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 where he came from. You know? Where you from, Roy? Ohio. Toledo. Okay, okay. All right. Yeah. Do you feel the pressure? Oh, uh, no, ain't no pressure. Okay. It's real, man. You know what I'm saying? When you do it for real, ain't no pressure. What you know about what I'm saying? So, like, ain't no pressure here. What about you, Lacey? You feel the pressure? No. No, I think I, I am the pressure. Like, I'm up here, and it's like this, so it's like, you're in your own lane, you know? We got you. Y'all hope the, uh, the soundtrack to accomplish? Us? Yeah. Um, To be a part of something bigger than myself, and a bunch of people that, if you think about, we didn't really come from the same place exactly, but we really did come from the same place, mm -hmm. like in here. So I feel like all of us coming together and making it one and just supporting each other, that's huge. Yeah, that's I believe, I feel me, like I ain't no rapper. Like, I'm a takeover. You know, right. that's what it's going to do. And P, P, is it hard to groom the new artists, man? Because sometimes the young artists listen, sometimes they don't. Well, I told you, I ain't taking no more <laughs> advice from you on helping no young artists. I'm done with that. You had your, you had your chance with oh, me with no. that. I'm good. I'm focusing on people that's focusing on business and people that want to learn and people want more out of life. This is the way we feed our family through entertainment. So... You got to know the business, learn the business. And what I love about this group right here, you know, they open to be their own boss. Mm. And so you got to put the work in and being ready to get out there, get on the road and do what you got to do. Like ownership. I tell mm. people all the time, ownership, having product, being able to put your product out there. You know what I'm saying? And put all my trust and faith in God. Like mm -hmm. this is not just about me. God spared my life, saved my life. And, and that's why I'm where I'm at now and, and able to be around these other bosses until we're, we're going to celebrate this together. Did you did you grow up listening to P, right? Oh, man, I grew up listening to P, shit. I, I came and found P. Yeah. He ain't find me, I found him. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, shit. He took yeah, the call. Got, he I, seen how, many call from I new, seen how many new people, new people he paid, how many people he gave money yeah. to. Yeah. How'd you get in touch with him? Uh man, I shit, I had to pay them bands. <laughs> no. I had to pay them bands. I found out through this process who really real. If you, but you also got to show that you real about, because you be, a lot of people be doing all that talking. Yeah. That's why I say these people are real bosses, man. They don't, they don't do no talking. They like me, and, hey, I, you, and I feel good about it. Hey, you know, this is the last thing, but you know, me and Pete bond is, is through God. Yep. They see our, our bond ain't through music, it's yeah. through God. Yep. And then we do music, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But God is first, so yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's what we gonna do with this industry right now. Show them that you could be from the streets, but you definitely could have some values, you know? And it takes that one person to believe in you. Because yeah. I've, I've been doing this for a long time and I've dealt with so many people in my DMs and rappers and artists and athletes and whatever and whatever they wanna do or whatever they are set out to do. But it takes that one person to be real yeah. and look at you from that point of view and be like, I'm gonna give you this chance and that's the rest of history. Yeah, I told both of them by this time next year they'll be some of the biggest stars in the world in music. So And we'll be back on the Breakfast Club. <laughs> <Word>. yeah. <laughs> no, you gonna call me back. <laughs> you gonna call me, I ain't gonna call you, you gonna call me. I don't, no, like, I, don't work. Like, I don't like talking about it, man. I do what I do and then you can't please everybody. You know, my thing is I'm you know what? Long as I'm straight with that man up above, I ain't gotta please these headlines or what somebody want to think, they know for me to be here this long, you got to be doing something right. Absolutely. So challenging every athlete. Think about it. Challenging every athlete. Think about it. I'm challenging every athlete. Think about it.